Hi there, I'm Marisa and welcome to Marisa Home. Today we have a craft. We're going to make wine cork elves. So I'm sure you have some wine corks sitting around and would like an idea of something to do with them. So these cute little wine cork elves are great little gifts or if you have like a holiday party or like us, we had a December wedding, I made a whole bunch of these as our party favors. Um, it's a great little craft to put together to give away. So, it, and it doesn't take that much time. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these cuties. Let's get started with these wine cork elves. The first thing we're gonna need to do is cut out the hat. So I have a stencil right here and I'm just going to outline the hat. There we go. And then let's cut the hat out. So you have your hat, there you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to stitch up and then back down. So we, for that, we are going to need thread and we're gonna want about 20 inches. You know what? I'm just gonna do the whole 24 inches of thread just so I know I have enough. And let's grab our needle. If you've not seen this before, um, a really easy way to tie off your thread is to loop it around your finger, roll your thumb finger and like index finger together. So it does that and then pull it through. And there you go. You have a knot. Pretty cool, huh? Um, all right. So let's go ahead and stitch this sucker together. All right, I'm starting from the bottom and I'm going to make a X pattern, but I like to start with a line at the bottom. That's just my preference. Okay, so I'm not a seamstress, I'm not a sewer, but you don't have to be in order to do this. You're, it's all good. Okay, and so I just make a couple stitches up and a couple stitches back down to create the X pattern. And then now we're gonna go back down where I'm going to insert the needle right where I have been before with the thread. So it makes a cute little X, X pattern. All right, and when you get to the end, what I like to do is um, just go down into the initial um, hole that we created. So now it makes an X pattern. So there you go. And then we'll tie this off. I just like to kind of make a knot at the bottom. All of this is going to be hidden. So go ahead and tie that knot however you need to. And we'll cut this off. And there you go. All right, there's the hat. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a bell. Okay, so um, with the leftover thread, I think I can make it make it happen with leftover thread. 
Um, I'm going to insert, or I'm gonna attach the bell. So I just put the needle through the top of the um, cap right here. Make sure it's not totally on the edge because um, felt is um, not a hardy material, so you don't want it to um, break apart. And then we're just gonna stitch it a couple times. So I like to, one of the easiest ways that I found, especially when I'm short on thread like this, is to um, kind of turn it inside out. And then um, make a knot. In here. The top of the cap. So then bell stays in place. And then we turn it back inside out. And there you go. All right, now that the um, cap for the wine cork elf is done, we are going to attach it to the dowel. You're gonna need a one inch dowel that has um, a hole that goes all the way through because that's where we're going to put, uh, let's see, in our case, we're going to use twine to um, insert through the dowel holes so we can have it uh, like this to attach to the, the tree. Okay, so first up, we need our glue gun. Just going to put glue all around the rim of the cap. And then you're going to make sure that you do not cover the holes of the, uh, the dowel with the hat. And just hold it there for a minute until it dries. And then you're going to take a wine cork and we're going to attach the elf head to the wine cork. And here we go. Here we go again with the glue gun. So a whole bunch of hot glue. And then you attach the elf head kind of at an angle. You don't want the elf head that uh, have to be straight up and down um, because we're going to put the elf face on. So you definitely want to uh, kind of angle the head up a bit like it's looking up so you have enough room to put the blush and eyes on. Okay, once it's kind of in a good spot, you can Put that to the side and get ready to do the, the scarf. So that's what we're gonna do next, the scarf. Um, a button. And we're going to cut up some of this um, fabric that I have here. So the fabric that I'm using is actually recycled sari um, scraps. So. I thought this was really pretty. It's like silk and such a beautiful texture and I love the um, the roughness of it, I guess. It, I think it's just so pretty. So I cut about like 10 inches or so, um, just enough so we know we can put it around the elf and um, sew it in. And we can cut away any of the additional um, fabric as needed in order to have it fit onto the elf nicely. Mm -hmm. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is get an anchor point through um, once I had crisscrossed the, the fabric and um, put the needle through. And now we have our button in there. And this is kind of the hard part. Securing the other side of the button in. And there we go. And I just do that a couple times, just so I know that it's attached. And then I just secure the back with a knot by just um, threading it through the thread that's already there. Just realize it's kind of hard to see when it's black on black like this. Black thread on black fabric, but that's okay. There you go. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue to make sure the button and scarf stay in place. Hold it for a minute and then we'll cut. We'll cut the additional fabric. All right, and now we're going to do the face. So I have some red paint. I just used um, this cherry red acrylic paint. Put a bit in this cup or, you know, any device that's going to hold your paint for you. Tap it out a little bit because I don't want a whole glob of red. I want just like kind of a you know, a rosy cheek, right? So it's a little light, and then you're gonna just kind of circle on. Lightly brush. There you go. So now we need some eyes. Um, this one that I'm showing you is, uh, you know, open eyes, but you can also, let's see if I have another one. You can also do sleepy eyes. So why don't we do sleepy eyes? So I have a word a wood burning wand right here. Um, there's different tips. The tip I'm using is the rounded tip. It does both the um, both the open eyes and the sleepy eyes. You can do both of those with this tip. So. I'm going to use that. Start light. Start light when you um, use the wood burner. Uh, sometimes the um, the wood burner will bleed. Really light. You don't need a heavy touch. And there you go. We have sleepy elf. And then the last thing we're going to do is attach the twine so we can hang this wherever we want on our tree, on a, um, I don't know, some kind of um, ornament hanger, whatever. So there we go. So you have through right through the dowel holes match it up. We're going to fold it over. Um, I like to just, you know, fold it over my finger. So I have a hole to slip this through. Just tie a little knot. Pull this through. And 
there you go. You have your little wine cork owl. So now this one can join all the other ones that we've created. All right, there we go. Wine cork elves are all done. I hope you had a lot of fun making this craft.